Hi everybody and welcome to Prelab 2 for Stats 250. Um, today we're going to walk through the Prelab assignment using a different data set than the one that you've been uh, told to use and we're going to show you how to, to do things like make box plots and get numerical summaries from your data. So I have R open here. Um, just to note I'm doing this on Windows but uh, the steps here should be exactly the same for a Mac. Um, so here I just have the R console open and the first thing that we want to do is open R commander. So in the R install video, we told you one way to open R Commander, which was to, at the prompt in the console here, type library, an open parenthesis, and then a capital R, CMDR, close the parenthesis, and hit enter. Another way to open R Commander is to use the uh, drop-down menus up at the top here. So you'll see something, uh, a drop-down menu called packages that you can come up and click and select load package. And this is gonna be a list of every R package you have installed on your computer. There's gonna be a lot more than R Commander here. But you can scroll down, find R Commander, which is called RCMDR, just, and double click that. And now R Commander will open. Okay, so here we have R Commander open. And the first thing that we want to do here is to load in some data. So we're going to be using a data set called CARS93, um, which is not the data set that you've been asked to use for the pre-lab, but it's the data set that we'll be using for these tutorials throughout the semester. So to load a data set, we're going to come up to the data dropdown here, click that, and select load data set. Now I have the cars93.r data file saved in my downloads after I downloaded it from Canvas. We'll just find that file and double click it to open. And now you can see up here it says data set and now cars 93. So it successfully loaded the data into our commander. And we can now view that data. So this will pop up a, a view of something that looks like a spreadsheet that is the data. So it's got, uh, the data set contains information on a whole bunch of cars. You can see we have a manufacturer, the model, so we have some categorical variables here. We have some uh, continuous numeric variables here, like um, price of the vehicle, miles per gallon. Um, and you can scroll around and see a lot of everything that's, that's in this data set. And you can scroll down as well. So we can close that. And the first thing that we're going to do here is to make a box plot. So to make some box plots, we're going to come up to the graphs dropdown, click that, and select box plot, the continuous yeah. variable that we want to make okay. a box plot of. So and the first thing use that we want to do is choose the hybrid. variable, but I want to make a box plot by groups. So I, I want to make a side-by-side -side box plots for highway miles per gallon by the type of drivetrain that uh, the, the car has. So to do that, we just click this plot by groups button here and select the grouping variable that we want to use. Here it's drivetrain, and then we click OK. And you can see now it says plot by drivetrain here. So now we can click apply. And notice that in the original R window here, another window has popped up with the graph in it. On a Mac, You'll have to uh, look at all of the windows that, that you have on your computer using Expose, and uh, you find a window with a graph in it. It's probably going to be a window titled Xquartz. This is why we had you install Xquartz. Okay, so we can look at this box plot here, and we can see that we have three side-by-side -side block box plots for MPG Highway grouped by drivetrain, four-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, or rear-wheel drive. The front wheel drive uh, box plot has three outliers here. These numbers, notice, are not the miles per gallon highway uh, for the car. It, this is actually the ID number of the car. So the 39th car has an MPG of about 50 on the highway. So these numbers are IDs, they're not data. So there are, that's a little confusing, so let's turn that off. So back in our commander, in our box plot window here, we can hit this options tab. And there's an options here to identify outliers. And instead of saying automatically, we're just gonna check this no box and hit apply. And we can see now that the numbers have gone away, which is great. 
So now, any graph, if it's going to be useful, should have an informative title. So let's title this graph. So over here in plot labels, we can see this graph title. And we can just type whatever we want to title this graph. So it, it should be something informative. So let's do side by side box plot of MPG highway by drivetrain. And we always want to uh, identify ourselves as, as who made the graph in 250. So I'm just going to say by MB, our initials here. We can hit apply. And oh, that doesn't look so great, right? We can see that the, the title has been cut off. And that's, that's not good. That's not really what we want. So we want to be able to put an enter in here, our new line somewhere in this title. The problem is that in this text box here, it's hard to hit enter. That doesn't really work. So we have to use computer speak for a new line, which is a slash n. So wherever we want to put a new line, we just type backslash n here. And now if we hit apply, now we get that nice line break in the title. So don't forget to use slash n to get a line break. Okay. So now we're done making this box plot. So we can just click OK. And that's nice. Look at that. So something else that we might want to do is get some numerical summaries of this data. So to get numerical summaries, we're going to click Statistics up at the top, Summaries, Numerical Summaries. And just like before, we're going to select MPG Highway as the variable. And we want to summarize by groups here. So again, we want to summarize uh, by the drivetrain of the car. So we'll click OK. And now again, you can see summarize by drivetrain. I shut up here. And now we can click OK. And down in the output here, you can see that our commander has printed some code that it's going to use to get these numerical summaries, as well as the numerical summaries output. So this is, there are three lines here, one for each group. So the four wheel drive, the front wheel drive, and the rear wheel drive cars. And the columns are the statistics, they're the numerical summaries. So we get the mean, the standard deviation of the MPG highway for each group, the IQR, the interquartile range, and some percentiles. So 0% is the minimum, the 25th percentile, the 50th percentile, 75th, 100th and also the number of observations in each group over here. The 50th percentile is the median. Think about why the median might be labeled the 50th percentile. Think about what the median is. It's the number that, uh, such that half the data are below the median and half are above. Think about why that might translate into the 50th percentile. But just know that this is the median here. So now we want to prepare our analysis to share. So we're going to use a feature of our commander or, uh, called R Markdown. So R Markdown is a way to automatically prepare reports from your R output. So up here in our commander, we can click this R Markdown tab. And you can see that there's this code that we've been using all throughout this document. Here. This is going to get translated into an HTML file, essentially a web page. So we want to scroll all the way up to the top, and where it says replace with main title, uh, we're going to type in what we want to title this. So we're going to title it with the name of the assignment. So this is Prelab 2 Open Data and Summaries, where it has these hash marks and your name. Replace this with your name. You'll notice that if you scroll down and look through this a little bit, there are a lot of lines for a box plot. So our commander records all of the commands that you give it every time you hit apply and modify that, that plot. We only want to keep the last one, that last plot that we made. So we can just highlight all of the other box plots up here, only keep the last, and delete. Okay. Down at the bottom here, we can type a few sentences about the numerical summaries. So our commander lets us combine text 
and code and output all in, in one thing. So here we can say, okay, the median for front wheel drive cars or the, the median MPG highway for front wheel drive cars is 29 miles per gallon. So we can add text to this, and you'll want to add text for the assignment as well. Okay, so how do we export this? Well, we can come up to File and select Save Our Markdown File As. We're going to put this in a folder with a nice name. So I'm going to save this in the Stats 250 folder that I made in my Documents folder. And I'm going to save this as prelab2.rmd. I'm going to replace the file because I already had one. And now you can click Generate Report. And now, in your web browser, it's going to open this nice report of what you've done. So you can see it combines your code, the box plot that we made, the numerical summaries, and the text that we wrote, all in one nice piece of output. So now let's talk about going about uploading that to Canvas. Okay, so here I just have Canvas open. This is not the actual pre-lab assignment, but we're just using this as a dummy to show you how to submit this. So we're going to click the Submit Assignment button. And down at the bottom, select File Upload. Click Browse. And find that Stats250 folder that you made. So there should be three files here. A .rmd file, an md file, and an html file. Uh, this is an html file here. We want to upload the html file, so I'm just going to select that and click open. And I'm going to submit this assignment. Um, and you can see that this HTML document will uh, show up in your submission details as well. So that's pre-lab two. We're looking forward to seeing you in lab this week.